Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors on the Homestead. This is it, the last hurrah. <gasps> I forgot my gun. <laughs> this is the last day of deer season in the northern zone. So, we can take buck or doe, either one of us can shoot, but we haven't made up our mind what we're going to do yet. We did have one nice one earlier in the year and that is in the freezer. Alright guys. Here we go. You gonna sit in your tree stand? No, I'm gonna sit with you and film you. Oh, this is for backup. Oh, you should knock one down and get back up. Yeah, got a second shot. What do you say? Do what are you saying? I suck. No, it's just that you know how they are. I know how, how I am. Every shot and had to chase uh, of mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shh, quiet. You know, after last night. I was wondering, you ever thought about buying an inline muzzle loader? Well, the inlines are nice because you can put a scope on them. That's what I was thinking. But the thing of it is, is this is a primitive weapons season, you know? Yeah. Years ago, before they allowed the inlines and the scopes, I used to hunt with buckskins and fur calf. <laughs> I did. It was like a mountain man because nobody wanted to deal with these these old muzzle loaders because they were dirty and they're hard to clean and one hundred percent accurate. I'm hundred percent touch they're, off. They're accurate. Well, if it's damp out, <laughs> but I had my share of that happen. I had one that didn't go off on a bear one time, and I'm glad because the bear ended up having a cub. Oh, I would have really felt bad shooting her. That was a few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, seven the years ago. The one we got on tape. No, video? no, over in that area. No. Yeah, it's a primitive season, and I prefer to keep it primitive in my, for myself. Yeah, but if I had one last night, I could have probably took that big boy. Maybe. But I've killed a lot of deer with this 50 caliber Hawkins, and I just like it. Mm -hmm. I like the big ball of smoke from the black powder out in front of me after you shoot. And that's a surprise after it clears. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been that lucky yet. You'll get there. Hopefully. I think there's just this and a crossbow that's still virgins. Everything else I'm taking something with. Tonight, I'm just backing you up, so you make up your mind what you want to do. Well, I'll discuss it with you. Feel no feel no pressure. You don't have to kill one if you don't want to. No. Definitely a bike buck I'll take, a big, you know, decent buck. Yeah. But does, um, I want to talk to you first about yeah. it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll make a decision. We don't need the meat. I know. And if they're, they're so bearing young, young, I why understand. Take it? Why take it? I understand. So, yeah, I don't. Uh, what is that? Suddenly you're twitching. I don't think so, but maybe. Hmm? It's right where that other buck came out. Twenty to four. How many do you see so far? Zero. I saw them all yesterday. <laughs> Maybe you're my bad luck charm. Could be. Of oh, course, last maybe. time we didn't see any deer is when I killed a big buck. No. Well, remember we didn't see him until late last time either, last Saturday. So. Okay, it's fifty-eight degrees in here. Time to warm it up. I don't have to be cold anymore. <laughs> Went through enough of that crap the last 40 years. Dang. Especially swinging in a tree, snowing, wind blowing 100 miles an hour, and we're 30 feet up in a tree hanging off the side of it. I can't believe it's the 10th of December and we have no snow in the ground. That's going to change tomorrow. But maybe it'll go back away. Okay, so 
it is five minutes to four. If you look out there in the food plot, right through there, there's nothing there. <laughs> We're going to get skunked tonight. We better not. The sun's going down. Hey, what's worse than one brother with a muzzle loader? Huh? What's worse than one brother with a muzzle loader? Two brothers with another Two brother. <laughs> Seen some of the prettiest sunsets from here. I know. You look a little bit up here. So peaceful. Well, the sun's going down. Just that one deer so far. Never came off the hill. Quiet evening. Don't let me down. It's unusual for you to have a quiet evening here. Of course, it has a really heavy frost. Maybe the clover's dead. Did you look and see? Probably has. Yeah, it doesn't look too green out there. <laughs> that clover's held up really well, though. Yeah, it has. Now well, we got about 15, 18 minutes of shooting light left. I do believe we're going to get skunked. Looks as if. Saw one up on top of the hill up here, but just a glimpse. Never came down. A lot of trees up there. Well, one good thing. Well, it's not like this. Usually they come in by now. Well, we're not hanging on the side of a tree freezing, wrapped up in a blanket, <laughs> trying to keep from dying. Just a little disappointed, but it's part of hunting. Been a good season. Saw a lot of deer. I guess I eat tag soup this year. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, you got one last year. Yeah. Where we go from deer hunting today, you know what happens next. Coyote. Coyote hunting. Mm -hmm. Have to get it cold enough so we can freeze our coyote popsicles. Well, it's supposed to get cold this week. Single digits every night. And that's why we need to freeze our stuff in the block of ice. You betcha. We got plenty of stuff this year. Well, uh, last year on the last day, we had 20, <laughs> 21, 22 deer come out and yeah. say goodbye. Yeah. Well, that time has arrived, folks. And we only saw a little flash of one up in the woods today. Buck gave me the finger yesterday. And I think we're officially skunked today. Alright guys, this is going to conclude our deer season. We will be hunting coyotes here pretty soon. This is long. This is as quick as we can make the uh, popsicles to put out. But that will be doing it at night. Yeah. I don't know how much video you're going to see there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate all your support. Give us a thumbs up, hit that bell for future notifications, and subscribe. Until the next one, we'll catch you later. See ya.